hello students welcome to today's session in today's session we are going to discuss the other operations of your stack so previously we have discussed how to check stack empty stack full and how to insert an element into stack and today's session we are going to discuss rest of the important functions or operations of your stack which is deleting an element displaying the element and also accessing the elements of the stack now first we are going to discuss deletion so deletion is also called as pop so this is the function for implementing or deleting an element from the stack now as we discussed if you want to delete an element we should have the element so if there is no element in the stack I cannot delete the element so in such case first we need to check what is the position of the top value if top is at minus 1 as we know when top is minus 1 we'll say stack is what stack underflow when stack is underflow or there is no element we cannot delete any element so whenever you call this function called as pop we are going to check whether there is element whether there is some element in the stack or not if there is no element we are going to just display stack underflow if that is not the case we are going to print the popped element as percentage d and we are going to display stack of top okay so let us say for example you have a stack so if you have any stack in your stack elements like uh, say I have inserted some elements 12 15 18 and uh, 20 so the indexes will be like 0, 1 and the third index will be 2 and then we are going to have 3. So this will be the indexes. These are the elements we have and followed by the indexes. So if this is the case, top will be at which position? Top will be at 3 because we have inserted 4 elements and top will be at the topmost position the topmost position is what topmost position is 3 now in this case whenever I want to delete the element first what we are going to do we are going to display the element let us if this is the array called as stack which is having index as 0 1 2 and 3 and if I write stack of top that is nothing but in the place of top it will be 3 so what is stack of top it is 20 so we are going to delete 20 after deleting 20 top will be decremented so top will become 2 what does that mean is yes, we are going to delete this element and top value will be changing to 2 ok so this function whenever this function is called pop function is called we are going to display the element that is pointed by top after that we are going to delete the element uh, by decrementing top value okay this is deletion now next whenever you want to display whenever you want to display also the same thing first thing what we need to check whether there is any element in the stack or not so how to check that when top is equals to minus one we'll say it is empty or underflow now if that is not the case while top is greater than or equal to 0 then we can start displaying the elements the elements of stack are for i equals to top i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus by using this for loop we will be displaying all the elements of the stack ok so after this once displaying all the elements if there is no element once i reaches minus minus we will stop this function and we'll come back and we'll say stack is empty if top is less than 0 if top value is greater than 0 
we know we have elements as you can see if top is having zero then it will have only one element if top is one we have two elements if top is three i mean say two we have three elements now after displaying all these elements we are going to uh, say if the top value is minus one in that case we will say stack is empty okay this is about our stack operations so which is insertion which is called as pop i mean push deletion which is called as pop display is empty and is full those are the important five functions of stack now with an example program we are going to execute stack so you have a program for you which is stack program now here i have defined these variables these variables are global variables so when i say global variables these variables can be accessed any of the function it can be accessed by push function pop display as well as main function all the functions can access these values like integer stack choice n top x as well as i now in case if you want to define a other variable so i can also define something like max stack i'll, I'll just name it as max so i'm going to give it as 3 so once i mention 3 it is nothing but this particular variable or the stack can have maximum of how many variables or how many values three values okay now so if that is the case i can directly write here max which represents this particular uh, say our program we are taking the maximum number of elements as three so if you want more number of elements you can increase the number of elements also now so in that case we'll just remove this size and we'll come back to the program in this program we have the functions like push which is used for insertion and this function is used for deletion and this function used for display so which is used to display the elements of the stack so we have these three functions in our program and after this we'll start with the main function in the main function what we are going to have is first initially as you know top will be equal to minus one okay so this you can initialize here or you can initialize at the beginning of the program also here also i can write top equals to minus one which will be the initial value so after that we will display something called as stack operations okay so and then it will be displaying choice one as push choice two as pop choice three as display choice four as exit okay now next we are going to ask enter your choice okay so you need to select any one of this you can select one two three or four based on your requirement you can select any one of these choices either one two or three so if you select one it is going to call this function called as push so this function is called whenever you want to insert an element so in that case then push function is called it will directly come to the function called as push function here okay so here we have defined something called as max which is the maximum number of elements it can store that we have discussed in the algorithm also so if top value is greater than or equal to max minus one we'll say stack overflow or we can also write when top is equal to max minus one in that case stack is overflow so that is i cannot insert any element if that is not the case if the stack is not full then i can insert the element then we'll be executing these statements similarly when i select choice two when i select choice two which is nothing but pop when i select pop it will come to this function called as pop function so in this pop function it will directly come to this sub function called as pop where we are going to delete the element as we discussed how to delete the element the same statements we have written here after that choice 3 will be display where we will be displaying the elements and uh, later we have choice 4 
so when I select choice 4 it is going to come out of the program just exit okay it is just going to say exit point and it is going to come out of the program so this is our uh, program to execute uh, to implement stack using arrays so this is static implementation as I told you if the size of the memory doesn't change it is static now I'm going to save this program as stack stack example and uh, we'll start executing it So once I start executing, you can see something like this stack operations using arrays, which is static implementation of stack, which has options like push, pop, display, and exit. Okay, I'll make the first choice as one and I'll press enter. So it is asking enter the value to be pushed. That is, I want to insert some element, I'll insert that element. Say, I'll insert some element, say, uh, some five. So again, it is going to ask enter your choice. I'm going to give one again. I'm going to insert one more element eight. Again one, I'm going to insert nine. So again, I'll choose one. So once I choose one, it is showing stack overflow because I've selected the maximum number of elements is three. So I can insert only these three elements, five, eight, and nine. And now I'm going to display the elements by selecting choice three. Once I select choice three, if you observe first element, whichever is have inserted is placed at the last. Second element is eight and third element is nine. Now, as I told you, stack will be working in the form of last in first out. Whichever element that is inserted last will be deleted first. So in this case, I'll press two. That is, I want to delete some element. If I press enter, now the first element it is deleting is 9 which was the last element which I have inserted okay similarly now it should delete 8 now we are going to delete 5 after that if I try to delete it is showing stack underflow saying that there is no element in the stack so even though if I try to display also I'll get the same message saying that stack is empty since there is no element in the stack it will be displaying stack empty so we have these conditions stack overflow when stack is full stack underflow when stack is empty okay this is our program for implementing stack so i'll stop the session here where i'll be completing one topic from your stack chapter which is stack operations with stack program this topic is very important Please go through this topic if you have any doubts just let me know. Thank you.